Oh, I love the placement. Mm -hmm. And uh, because of the way I've set up the blending of the animations, you can even swing while turning. Check this out. Slow it down for you. See that? And it all it blends in full 360. Well, oh, nice that character naturally slows down when I'm running. You can even swing attack while slowing down. So all of these animate this seems like oh wow so much animations but there's actually very few but it's kind of blending them together in all the code I did to actually make the character really flow and work in a, in a game setting with actually not too much actual animations but a whole lot of coding <laughs> and now one of my favorite things ever. <laughs> Oh, what else are this hill? <laughs> Gotta love the ragdoll. Spent a whole day getting that working. Oof. It's not that easy. So, hours and hours of tweaking. <laughs> And then more gentle fall. So you can actually, this doesn't have to be a death animation character. You're just going to be like, oh, look, it's a hurt. Oof. Oof. I can actually hit them in the direction of the camera. Oof. No, that's the wrong one. Sorry. Control, okay. Kabam! <laughs> so he had his legs out and knocked him out from under. Oof. What happens if he gets hit face on? So, face on, bam! Oh, that's a good hurt. Ooh. Are you ready for something fun? Jump! <laughs> <laughs> All of this is coding I've done. It took a whole lot of time to get this visual effect going. So much code. <laughs> but it works! <laughs> That's that. And I showed foot placement. Let's see what else. Um, oh, the momentum of swings. Check this out. See how it's during certain parts of the animation that it lights up. It's the high momentum parts. So I'm deciding what I think is the high momentum part of the swing, and then I'm signifying it through code. I'm I'm explaining and visually I'm showing this is the high momentum part of the swing. Let's go up and up and up. This is also my custom game camera that you're seeing. I can basically do any see the action from any angle anytime. <laughs> A whole lot of time to make that too. Woo! Check it out. Okay, so that's that. You might be wondering. Can this hero have other swords? And he can! Wrong oh, one. And he can! <laughs> and he can swing and pack with them. And he can run with them the same way he can run with the others. Notice the 360 degree blending. Days of work. <laughs> but it works. And he has other sword options too. He doesn't have to always use the same one. 
but it works with the same animation. And you can have different, uh, two different types of swords. All of this controlled through code. I'm just pressing buttons and changing it at will. <laughs> and there's two now. <laughs> and I made a turn in place animation that it's also my block animation. It's a little hard to do this on the mouse. Three. <laughs> so that's that. And uh, that is the introduction to my game character that I've been designing. I have a link in the video description to where I got this awesome model. And then I spent hours and hours of code to, to actually make a playable character. <laughs> he uh, fell. <laughs> I like to learn how man. <laughs> Let's get the light back. <laughs> I've been uh, coding a lot <laughs> to get all these cool effects going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder what this sword looks like in rainbow mode with this. Wow. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> I like rainbows. Oh. Last thing I wanted to show you uh, was the check out the color resolution, check out the texture resolution on this model I was given. It's really amazing. Look at that level of detail. As an in game character, now this isn't a movie, this is a character. It's move around. That's his level. Level of detail is amazing. Texture resolution is awesome. Check out this shoulder pad, high resolution shoulder pad. Look at that. It's amazing. I'll fix that. It's a little detail. This is a fix. Look at that. Texture resolution is so good. And note that this hero has a Triforce on his knee. <laughs> Look, Rainbow Triforce. <laughs> Uh -huh. Enjoy.